Our country, the Philippines, dubbed as one of the fastest growing economies in Asia, has more or less 7,641 islands and has a size of 300,000 square kilometers. As we experience development and progress in the country, we also observe the continuing growth of the population. It is important that the population count be updated as the data generated by the census is critical for the development. Hence, all persons residing in the Philippines at the same time of the census shall be counted in the 2020 Census of Population and Housing or the 2020 CBH, leaving no one behind in 2020. The Census of Population and Housing is the source of official count of the population and housing units in the Philippines. The 2020 CPH is a nationwide undertaking that involves the collection, compilation, evaluation, analysis, publication and dissemination of data on population count, demographic and socio-economics characteristics of the population, household characteristics, and barangay characteristics in the country. The 2020 CPH kicks off in May 2020. All household and institutional population will be enumerated to count all members and determine their respective demographic and socio-economic characteristics. Batas Pambansa Bilang 72 Executive Order No. 352 and Republic Act 10625 mandate the Philippine Statistics Authority as the government agency to conduct the census. PSA assures the public that all responses to the 2020 CPH are confidential as provided by Section 26 of RA10625 and Section 8 of RA10173 or the Data Privacy Act. No data or tabulation may be produced to identify any household nor any individual. Responding to 2020 CPH is mandatory as stipulated in Section 25 of RA10625 or Philippine Statistical Act. Thus, answering all the questions in the census is obligatory. The 2020 CPH aims to provide government planners, policy makers, and administrators with data on which to base their social and economic development plans, policies, and programs. This is also beneficial to businesses, industries, and non-profit organizations, including research and academic institutions. These are the particular information obtained by the census. Size and geographical distribution of the population, population composition, such as sex at birth, age and marital status, education, such as highest educational attainment and literacy, birth registration, religious affiliation, ethnicity, functional difficulty. For 20% of all households, information on occupation of household members aged 15 years old and above, fertility indicators, the characteristics of housing units in terms of type of building, number of floors, construction materials of the roof and outer walls, state of repair, and floor area, usual manner of kitchen garbage disposal, type of toilet facility, fuel for lighting and cooking, source of water supply for drinking and cooking, presence of household conveniences or ICT devices, and vehicles in working condition as well as internet access. On the barangay level, barangay officials are also asked about the presence of facilities, structures and establishments in the barangay, as well as if there are informal settlers and relocation areas within the barangay. For the census to be done in May 2020, there will be more or less 100,000 enumerators to be deployed all over the country to conduct house-to-house -house visits. Census enumerators are mostly public school teachers. BSA will also hire additional enumerators and or supervisors. Census interview lasts for only 15 to 30 minutes per household. Census is a massive undertaking 
but the data obtained will be of great help for the country's development. Thus, all citizens are enjoined to cooperate and provide truthful answers to the census questions. Let's do our share and happily participate in the census because your cooperation and time spent in this endeavor will be a service to our country. Samana, census na. Samana, census na.